All right. In, in the days leading up to this second uh, trial, the second day of trial for Pavi, FRC wasn't the only group standing behind this Finnish member of parliament. Members of Congress here in the United States saw what was coming. They knew what this meant. And so they stood with Pavi as well, writing a letter to offer her support, encouragement and prayers, noting that the challenge she's been facing is not merely legal, but spiritual. Joining me now is the one who spearheaded this effort, our good friend Chip Roy, congressman from the state of Texas and a member of the House Freedom Caucus. Chip, welcome back to the program. Great to be with you, Tony, as always. All right. Um, you see the handwriting on the wall with what's happening in Finland, and you've spoken out about this. Has this captured the attention of your colleagues? Well, I, I can say that it has definitely captured my attention and a handful of my colleagues. I'm not sure everybody in this country, including elected uh, office holders, whether they're in Congress or, or, or any other body across the country, quite understand what's at stake with what we're seeing happening in Finland. Obviously, this is terrible for MP Rasnan, um, for Bishop. You know, the, it, the, the extent to which what we're seeing unfold right now is a chilling um, impact on not just free speech, but our faith cannot be overstated. And when you think about today that the prosecutor is saying that the Bible has got to take a back seat to finish law, right? Think about the implications of that, right? You know, that, that somehow that the Bible and the freedom of religion in the words of the prosecutor stops at the door of discrimination. Well, the natural extension of that is that if you believe the Bible and you believe that it is the inerrant word of God, that you then are, anytime you're quoting it, as your previous guest and you were just talking about, you are all automatically discriminating, right? You're automatically discriminating against people of other faiths. And so that's the road that we're headed down. And it's not that far away in this country. Like, think about all of the surveillance going on, thinking about the intrusions on our liberties. And when you talk about this, Finnish law, I mean, then we're going to be having the same conversation about American law. Now, what my colleagues and I wanted to do was offer our prayerful support and encouragement of what they're going through in Finland. But I want to also highlight how this is such a problem for the people in our country and around the world who are facing persecution on a daily basis as well. Well, and if you step back for just a moment, this assertion by the prosecution there that the Bible uh, cannot in any way undermine Finnish law, it turns Western civilization on its head because Western civilization is a product of the moral law of God and the specific revelation and as a common law comes from an understanding of the Judeo-Christian worldview. So we're, we're actually now reversing it, saying uh, somehow we got here on our own and what got us here we no longer want. The, the problem is that brings about moral anarchy. And as I was talking with Dr. Brunson earlier, when you have justice untethered from truth, you lose both. And that's what we see happening here. He mentioned the uh, they have an equality law. Same thing that Nancy Pelosi has made one of their top priorities. It's passed the House, fortunately right now, bottled up in the Senate. But the Equality Act would bring the same thing here to the United States. Yeah, and then think about how much major corporations are pushing that. I looked at a list last week where 500 major corporations that are all backing and supporting the Equality Act because of all of the pressure coming up through our institutional investors. What the American people need to understand is, is just because we're not being prosecuted in court yet in the United States, we're still being prosecuted. We're being prosecuted by major corporations and by all of the powers that be in government, universities, that our speech is being chilled right now. And we are only one or two steps behind what we're seeing happening in Finland. And so, you know, if you're talking about, you know, Bishop Oyola, for example, simply cited the, I think, pamphlet that M MP Rasnan put right. out. Right. right. I mean, think about that. Right. Well, and, and I mean, that, that would be. It, 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 Chip, that would be equivalent to a church putting out one of the publications that uh, the Family Research Council does on transgenderism, which is, by the way, footnoted and documented based in science. But yet that, because it is uh, would be in violation of the Equality Act, 
uh, now makes uh, using that a criminal offense. Well, I can promise you, I could probably be arrested for probably half the tweets I put out in the last week uh, if you're going to go down the road that they want to go down. But understand, Americans, when you're listening to this and people around the world, M.P. Rasnan, one of the charges against her is the charge of a tweet literally quoting a Bible verse, Romans, uh, in response to the position of the state church in Finland, sort of saddling it up with the LGBTQ you know, effort. And literally just by promoting a Bible verse on Twitter, that is a charge against her. That's what we're facing. It is chilling. The American people should be horrified. But more importantly, members of, of, the, of the Christian community around the world should be joining in solidarity, in prayerful solidarity, standing behind not just those two, but all who are facing persecution around the world. We know as Christians that we will be persecuted. That yeah. is just something we understand and know, but how we respond to it. And by the way, the prosecutors tried to get them to recant their faith, to pull back their words in order to not face prosecution. And God bless them for saying no. You're absolutely right. Chip, we got to leave it there. We're out of time. Folks, thanks so much for joining us as always.